G'day guys, welcome back to Tazzy Coin Hunter. Well, this is, as the title says, my gum tree pickups. So, if you've been watching my channel for a while guys, you know I often search for a gum tree, looking for different things, coin related, note related, just depends what I come across. And I come across an ad on the um, giveaway. Uh, this is freebies, freebies, zip, nada, sorry, too much, going back a bit there, um, but yeah, someone was giving away two Renix books, 1964, 1965, and I thought, okay, that's not very far away from where I live, well, were, you know, so I thought I went and picked them up, they're in really good order, and the, the lady told me, um, her and her, her husband, was a coin collector back in 1964, 65. I think he started in 64. Um, well, he, sorry, he started early and then he sold his coins to put a deposit for a house. So I don't know how big his coin collection was, but these were the last years he collected. Maybe he was just getting some prices, seeing what they'd sell for. Anyway, saw his house and sold his coins and bought a house. So she said she'd like to donate these to me. Or give them away to someone so she was happy to find that I was a coin collector and I thought these are pretty cool so they're just the same as the normal Renix ones um, just give you prices a bit of a price guide but it's always interesting to look back on the history and you know it's all pretty cool so I was pretty happy to get them um, just to see what coins went for back then and what errors and stuff um, how things have changed over the years so I'll go through these at some stage have a bit of a read um, just having a bit of a flick through at the moment but it's always very interesting to find out you know all different things about coins and the crown beautiful crown like a 1938 crown it's a 37 but yeah like a 1938 um, definitely on my bucket list I've got that one um, yeah so oh yes you can see some of the off centers and stuff miss strikes coins so it's definitely worth a bit of a read and for free you can't really argue with the price guys so yeah that was a bit of an eBay picker I was eBay bit of a gum tree one there and 1965 all in reasonably good order so i was pretty happy to get that um just you know wanted to give them away to a good home so they will go in my collection and i'll have to have a bit of a yeah different varieties so this is all very handy information guys so definitely um if you see them around, you know, grab them. I mean, got these for nothing, so I can't really complain. Um, but yeah, it's just a quick look at a couple of little pickups there. These, this one was free. Um, but yeah, so that was just a free gum tree, a couple of Renix books. And this one's a purchase. Now, I'm not the biggest note collector in the world. I've already got a $2 note like this um, but the reason I picked these two up they're in really good order but the serial numbers are running serial numbers so if you look closely I won't wreck that but it's a very clean crisp looking note and you've got the LLX111398 there's 399 in really crisp order so it's four dollars worth of face value um, now these notes aren't very valuable to buy I believe um, someone correct me if I'm wrong but I think they're the last ones they actually produce so but they're in beautiful crisp order um, bought them off an old lady um, same lady that I've got a lot of my 
50 cent pieces you must be cleaning out the place you know and I bought these for ten dollars for the pair so four dollars worth face value cost me six dollars realistically I spent six dollars now I reckon that was a good deal let me know what you guys think if there's any avid note collectors out there um, but I, th I believe people are sought after notes in running order in serial number order I'm not sure if the double ones make any difference. I know some of your zeros, your radars, notes. I need to get some books on notes. <coughs> As I said, I'm not a note collector. I'm a coin collector, but I have a keen interest in notes as well because the $2 coin came out in 1988 and replaced the notes because they said notes only lasted like six months. In circulation, they got torn and wrecked, wrapped, ripped and destroyed. Well, they reckon you would get 40 years out of the coins. Now, these coins have been around for a fair while now. 35 years, I think, for the $1 coin. And they, they're getting rough, but they're still there. So, I guess they've saved a lot of money by just running um, coins. But I was in high school when these notes were still around. Just. And, um... They always hold a special part in my heart growing up as a kid, going to the shop. You know, you have $2, you thought you were rich. Most of the time you had a dollar. But, yeah, it's always something special to me about these sort of notes. And um, I like a few of them in my collection. I'd like to get, um, I have a $1, I have a $2, now I have two $2, three $2 now, 5 10 20 50 whatever. Um, I think... If the note is a star note, look out for because if it's been a replacement note for something that's been a note that's been destroyed, and it's got a star on it. Um, I may stand corrected on that, but anyway, there was a couple of Gumtree pickups. Um, Ten dollars worth for this, free for the books. So I couldn't really argue, guys. It's you know, it's just awesome. So anyway, that was my video on the notes and some gum tree action always keep an eye on gum tree i do i'm always cruising around gum tree and seeing what i can pick up anyway guys remember to like subscribe give it the thumbs up if you like what i'm waffling on about much appreciated um remember to jump on the tassie coin hunter facebook group like subscribe uh, like on there post up your photos of coins coin collections how you're laying out your coin collections very interested um and some interesting notes you've got like if you've got star notes or whatever i'm inter still interested in some notes as well so australian notes i prefer old australian notes you know um, i'd like to cl maybe collect some pound notes as well but i don't want to create too much of a you know i don't want to go crazy but i'm definitely enjoying the australian notes Alright guys, take it easy, Tazzy Coin Hunter out. G'day guys, thank you for watching Tazzy Coin Hunter. And remember, find a penny, pick it up, and all day long you'll have good luck. <laughs>